Do you want me to set the camera? <laughs> How was your first experience? Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah? All five minutes of it. This is Richard. He's one of my closest buddies. <laughs> Joe, how was your first experience? I mean, at first it was really difficult. But, uh, and this is Joe, another one of my closest buddies. But uh, I think as we got into it, it was uh, just getting better and better. <laughs> like, uh, I feel like Tiger Woods, you know? So COVID got me doing something I would have never thought of doing for maybe another uh, 10 years or so and that's picking up the game of golf and someone please tell me why it's so freaking hard to hit a small little ball with a big stick <sighs> I've never played a round of golf in my life so like any beginner where do you turn to YouTube University it's something I didn't want to do alone and given COVID, I wanted to make sure that, you know, maybe I can bring along my friends with me. So I brought Joe and Richard, who you saw in the video. Are you going to kill someone with those? Here you go, my friend. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Great, delicious Wawa coffee. Not only did I get them to join me, I also convinced my wife. So we're here round two of, of learning how to golf. And this time I brought along with me a special guest. And this is important because a couple years ago, one of the promises that I made to my father-in-law when I was asking for his blessing is that I would pick up golf. And there was no better time than to do it now. There's so many things to keep in mind, like your grip, your stance, don't sway, um, probably a bunch of other things that I can't even think about off the top of my head, but it's so hard. And I think the more that I think about it, the harder it is for swimming in the day. Always the best. And out of the 40 to 50 balls that I hit or so, um, I want to say that I probably hit like two bombs and five like good ones. But man, those are the ones that you live for. 250 down the middle. Did it really? Yeah. Really? It's those moments where you have a really clean shot and you hear like the really whoop sound and I can see why people get addicted to this game or this sport because that feeling is, is really exhilarating. The big ones, the bombs, um, the perfectly straight balls, not the ones that are sliced and go to the left or to the right. And I forget about all the other ones that I missed, but such is life, right? You take advantage of the good moments and you remember those and you quickly forget the bad. And I think golf is a perfect representation of that kind of mindset. I don't remember the ones that I missed, I only remember the ones that I hit. But I'm not consistent by any means, and that's the problem, right? So if any of you golfers out there who are watching this video, if you have any tips, especially for a beginner like me, please let me know down in the comments. And on the way down there, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.